Mark is here now with a look at our forecast and maybe some changes coming, Mark. Yeah, you might need the AC today, but tomorrow we're talking about temperatures that will drop back to more seasonable levels for this time of year, but we're already on the move thanks to the sunshine, which really began to emerge for most communities just a couple of hours ago. We're at 73 now underneath those partly to mainly sunny skies, variable winds at about five miles per hour, but those winds will pick up too as we get into the afternoon. Could see gusts later today as high as 20, maybe 25 miles per hour. Well, the whole country uh, saw the sunshine first. It began to progress eastbound as the morning wore on. That's why Hill Country locations are a little bit warmer right now. Already in the low 80s in Lano, you're at 82, 80 degrees in San Saba. Nearing that in Mason, you're at 79. Downtown still in the mid 70s and then even some lower 70s still thrown in there for points east. By day's end, everybody into the 80s for daytime highs will fall just a few notches shy of our record today. Now that that first batch of cloud cover kind of lost steam and is leaving us with plenty of sun, but another little batch back to the west of us will begin the swing through over the next couple of hours. So we'll call it a mixture of clouds and sunshine for the rest of the day today as daytime highs make it all the way to 86. Our record for today is 91. So just a few degrees shy of that, but still about 10 degrees warmer than where we topped out at yesterday. Just before sunset tonight, we'll drop back to about 80 at 6 p.m. And that's when the winds will really start to pick up as a cold front to the north and west of us is diving our way. That's what's stirring up the winds, but sadly won't be able to get any rainfall going. We will get through the overnight dry as that frontal boundary should cross central Texas by about we'll say 545 tomorrow morning right around the time we get out for that morning commute and that's when the winds are really going to be whipping in here underneath partly to mainly clear skies tomorrow we can get wind gusts as high as 35 miles per hour plus we're going to drop back in the temperatures a little bit so we go from 86 today back down to about 68 for a high tomorrow we'll stay in the low 60s right around average for this time of year eh, through much of this week outside of this afternoon but the dry air the windy conditions that will be around tomorrow, prompting the National Weather Service to put out a red flag warning tomorrow afternoon from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. The possibility for those wind-driven wildfires enhances a little bit, so we try to uh, let everyone know to avoid using an open flame or do any outdoor burning through the day tomorrow. So 86 for your high today, partly to mainly sunny. Should be a wonderful afternoon, but a little breezy, especially late. Those winds will stick around tonight with a low of 50, and your seven-day forecast shows mainly sunny and cooler tomorrow and windy, 68 for that high. 67 on Wednesday with plenty of sunshine and the next chance for rain finally comes around. It's been so long since we've seen some on Saturday and Sunday, about a 20 to 30 percent shot through the weekend.